Hey y'all, hey! So today we're making vegan lasagna. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be informed when I post another video. So we're going in with some olive oil and I'm using two packs of the Impossible Meat. Don't this look like ground beef, y'all? And so um, I'm just gonna brown this up and then add some onions and bell peppers to it just like I would with you know, any other meat sauce that I would make. And so now I'm just gonna season up the meatless, impossible meat <laughs> with whatever seasonings you choose. I'm just using, you know, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. Um, there was like some all-purpose seasoning blend that had like salt, pepper, garlic, all that stuff in it. And you're gonna wanna season this pretty aggressively cause I mean, it's not meat, so it doesn't have like flavor <laughs> per se. And so you wanna give it some flavor. And now I'm adding in some diced tomatoes, like one small uh, 16 ounce, I think the 16 ounce can, 12 ounce can will be just fine. I just used half of a big one cause I used the other half for a beef lasagna that I made. And then I used some Prego Use your favorite uh, pasta sauce or make your own from scratch if you like. And then I'm just seasoning this with some Italian seasoning and adding some dried parsley flakes. Um, adjust seasonings accordingly. You know, you can taste this as you go to see if it needs more seasoning. And like I said, since this isn't like beef or anything like that, you want to make sure that it's seasoned pretty well. Don't forget that sugar, y'all. The sugar balances out the flavor. Don't forget to add a little pinch of sugar. To make the ricotta mixture, you're gonna use some tofu. Um, and this is some extra firm tofu, or you can use like the silken tofu. And so I'm just uh, drying this off a little bit with a paper towel and then I'm gonna put it in the bowl and mash it up with a fork. So I am using about two teaspoons of honey. And so if you're a strict vegan, um, you know, some people who are vegan don't eat honey or consume honey. And so you can substitute the honey for agave nectar or any other sweetener you like to use. I didn't have any of that, so I just used honey. And I'm just adding in some dried parsley flakes and some pepper. Um, I didn't feel like it needed any salt because, you know, it, it's gonna be with the, the meat sauce, so that has flavor in it already. So while my uh, impossible meat sauce is cooking and then I set the ricotta aside I'm just gonna boil my lasagna noodles for about five minutes and then I'm gonna rinse them off in some cold water to stop the cooking process now you know there might be some controversy about me rinsing these noodles but I'm not you know dealing with you no know, overcooked noodles hot noodles while I'm trying to make this lasagna so rinse your noodles if you choose to do so and so I'm just putting a little bit of pasta sauce in the bottom of a pan. Make sure you spray your pan with some nonstick cooking spray. Um, and then you're gonna put some pasta sauce at the bottom and then um, put some uh, lasagna noodles on top of that. And so I did overlap them a little bit just so that when you cut it, um, you get that noodle in every cut. And then I'm going in with the tofu ricotta mixture and I'm just gonna spread that on there. And then I'm gonna add the impossible meat sauce on top of that. Now I'm going in with some uh, dairy-free mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever dairy-free cheese that you like. This is what we had in our refrigerator um, and it melts pretty good. You know, sometimes that dairy-free vegan cheese doesn't melt as well but um, this one actually stood up and now I'm just gonna do another layer of the noodles the ricotta the meat sauce and then some cheese you 
could also make a, a ricotta out of like cashews or like nuts but my kids have allergies so um, I didn't make that kind of ricotta this time but I have made it in the past and it was pretty good Now I'm just gonna top this with some foil um, very loosely. You know, like I said, that vegan cheese sometimes don't be melting. So <laughs> I'm gonna put that on for about 20 minutes and then take it off and cook the lasagna for an additional 20 minutes. And this is the finished product. This turned out a lot better than I thought. Um, it actually looks like, like a meat lasagna, but this is the vegan meatless version. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Bye.